This is my favorite kind of weather. I've been waiting all winter for a day like this. As soon as I realized we had beautiful dense fog, I made my way out to the pond behind our neighborhood. It looks like the sky came down to meet the earth. I can't even see the pond from here right now. It is calming to listen to the gentle breeze moving through the dried vegetation, to smell the wet earth and to breathe in the dampness in the air. It is cold and the fog clings to my skin. Even though I am next to a roadway and people are headed to school and work, there are birds, animals and insects out here competing to be heard. And here I am encased inside this foggy dome filled with nature. I have left my macro lens behind today and instead I'm walking around with a 100-400 mm lens and I'm also carrying a small macro lens on my phone. If only I could show you in a photograph how beautiful this shimmery dragonfly is. I cannot get a good composition with the way the insect is positioned, but that hasn't stopped me from taking some time to observe this beautiful creature for a while. Photography is not always about what you are seeing, but rather how you are seeing it, and what your reason is for being where you are in a moment in time. So even when a photograph does not work, you still carry with you the adventures and your encounters. The fog has lifted at ground level, but it has left moisture on everything and I can't resist focusing on these dewy dandelion seeds. Looking at them closely through a macro lens is kind of symbolic of the entire landscape today. White hazy fogginess falling out of focus in the distance, with glimpses of visible beauty when you focus on something close up. As usual for me, most of the birds are too far away for a photograph, but I did hear these doves in some trees close by and I managed to capture a photo before deciding to see if I could get closer to the water's edge. Soon it will be spring and the vegetation will be impossibly dense here and I won't be able to walk closer to the water. Also right now I'm safe from snakes as it is still cold and they probably won't be out for at least another few weeks. The remnants of a faint pathway have now ended and I've decided not to go any closer to the water. The water is motionless Though I can hear activity out there, there are ducks and other water birds and something else made loud splashing swimming sounds but I have no idea what it was. Any wildlife is a bit too far away and hidden behind the thickets lining the shore. I turned my cameras off for a while and stood watching the scene in front of me, breathing in the fresh air and reflecting on all of the reasons why I have not been to this pond for the past year. The last time I was here was days before my mother passed away. 
I came on a night when the sky lit on fire. First I was just enjoying watching the birds and marvelling at the changing colours in the clouds and moment by moment the sky got darker and the clouds became more and more red. It was incredible. So this time I just stood admiring the calm conditions when what happened next made me smile in amazement. I heard and observed a North American river otter for the first time. I could hardly believe it as I watched it come ashore and go behind a tree. I had no idea they lived here. When I got home I did some research and found out that due to conservation initiatives they have returned and if we see them it's a good thing because they thrive in areas of low pollution. For a brief moment, I wished I had been able to photograph the otter and some of the ducks I saw swimming in the pond. But I am just grateful to have finally made it back here. Life is different now, but still happy. And now I'm looking forward to spring, which we will be experiencing here in Texas in just a few short weeks. Thank you for watching and sharing this amazing morning with me. See you next time.